Let's now shift our attention over to the U.S. election as President Donald Trump and his challenger Joe Biden made dueling trips to the battleground state of Minnesota on Friday. After staying indoors for most of the year, Democrat nominee Joe Biden is now hitting the campaign trail. Biden visited a trade union facility in Minnesota's Duluth, ramping up the pace and scale of his trademark rallies. Biden spoke about Trump's inabilities to control the pandemic, added that Trump's negligence and selfishness has cost many American lives. Joe Biden also criticized President Trump's handling of the United States economy, saying that the coronavirus has driven up joblessness. Biden repeated a pledge to invest $2 trillion on U.S. infrastructure improvements while tackling climate change. Biden also said he would make sure all federal projects use American-made materials and union labor. Biden also emphasized his plans to boost American manufacturing. The president knew back in February that this was an extremely dangerous communicable disease. Think about it. How many people across the Iron Range how many empty chairs around those dinner tables because of his negligence and selfishness? How many lies said and lives lost? We're going to have to rebuild an economy in the wake of COVID-19. And as we do, we have an incredible opportunity to make long overdue invest in investments for working families and to make sure the wealthy, the very wealthy, and the big corporations finally begin to pay their fair share. While U.S. President Donald Trump stumped for votes in rural Minnesota, targeting audiences in conservative areas, Trump said that his Democratic opponent Joe Biden would terminate the travel ban and settle more refugees in the state. He also said that the state will be destroyed if Biden wins. Trump had lost the Minnesota state with a narrow margin back in 2016. One of the most vital issues in this election is the subject of refugees. You know it. You know it perhaps better than almost anybody. Lots of luck. You having a good time with your refugees? That's good. Your state will be overrun and destroyed if Biden and the radical left win. That's what's going to happen. I've been watching it for years. They haven't treated you right. They have not treated Minnesota right. But that's not all. In an effort to highlight the history of slavery and racism, President Trump has planned to establish a commission to promote patriotic education in the United States. In remarks delivered at the National Archives, which houses the Constitution, Bill of Rights and Declaration of Independence, Trump has ra railed against people who have taken to the streets to protest racial injustice. He has what he had to say. The only path to national unity is through our shared identity as Americans. That is why it is so urgent that we finally restore patriotic education to our schools. We must clear away the twisted web of lies in our schools and classrooms and teach our children the magnificent truth about our country. We want our sons and daughters to know that they are the citizens of the most exceptional nation in the history of the world. Donald Trump believes that the commission would encourage the educators to teach the children about, quote-unquote, the miracle of American history. The Republican president has sought to portray himself as a law and order candidate in the upcoming election against his Democratic rival Joe Biden. And using an executive order to establish the commission is seen as a move to appeal to his voter base, especially now when Donald Trump is trailing behind Joe Biden in the national opinion polls.